Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be discussing the beginner's gym guide for new teen lifters. And I'm really excited for this one because I'm really excited to go back to the gym today. I haven't been in almost five days because I got my wisdom teeth pulled. And it's crazy because I haven't missed it. I haven't missed more than one planned gym day in over two years. And so it felt really weird to miss all these days, but I'm really excited to go back. And I'm well rested up and ready to go. Hopefully gonna smash a bench PR. But before we hop into this, my name is Noah. I am the founder of Get Her Done Fitness and I made it my mission to help all the young teenage men get the body and confidence that they've always wanted. And if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I have a little surprise for you guys. You're not gonna wanna miss out on this opportunity that, that I have available for you on this video only. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. So what do you need to do as a beginner in the gym? As, as a beginner in the gym, I think your number one priority is going to be figuring out what your goals are. Okay, a, a, a lot of people, they, they go into the gym and they don't actually know what they want to do, right? They just think, well, I'm just going to start going to the gym and see what happens, right? Don't do that. That is the number one. That is the quickest way to stop going to the gym because you don't actually have a set goal. Because when you have a set goal in mind and you can create a plan to to go towards that goal, it actually gives you a reason to go to the gym. Because otherwise, you're just going to the gym to go to the gym. And so when the going gets tough, you're going to stop going to the gym because you don't have an actual intrinsic reason to go. So figure out your, your reason to go to the gym. For some of you, that might be to lose weight. For some of you, that might be to gain weight, gain muscle. For some of you, that might be to get a six pack. But regardless, you need to figure out why you're going to the gym. Give yourself a reason. Say, you know, in, uh, in X amount of weeks, I want to be here. Or in X amount of months, I want to be here. Say, so today's October. And so I could say, you know, um, in March, I want to be 10 pounds heavier. Or, or have 10 more pounds of muscle mass, okay? And that gives you a realistic goal that you can strive towards and you can track your progress for and that you can find the appropriate training. It, it gives you a, it gives you reason, it gives you purpose to go to the gym. That is very important, okay? And this next point is very important because this is universal regardless across whatever you're trying to do in the gym, okay? If you're going to the gym, you need to be training hard. You need to be going to failure every single set. You need to be going hard, okay? And some people are gonna say, well, I wanna lean out, so I'm gonna do higher reps, or I wanna get stronger, so I'm gonna do lower reps, or they say some other nonsense like, oh, but if I do higher reps and I can lean out the muscle, or just total nonsense, okay? I'm going to tell you exactly how to train for keeping muscle mass, for gaining muscle mass, for losing fat while keeping muscle, for for losing fat while gaining muscle. You need to go in and train hard. You, your training should not look any different from, from your cut to your bulk. Your training should look the exact same in that you go in and you train with intent and you train hard. Because even though on the cut... You might be able to lift less weight. You still go. You still go. You still go to failure. And so on bench, if you're able to hit two hundred and five for five on a bulk, and that's failure. That's like your last rep, right? You can't do any more, even if you wanted to. And then on on your cut, you're only able to get one eighty five for five. But that's actually failure. That's fine, right? So do you see what I'm saying? And that you need to be training hard and going to failure regardless of what stage you're at in your fitness journey. You still you just need to go in and train hard. Cuz that is going to help you to keep muscle. That's going to help you to gain muscle if you're in a caloric surplus and whatnot. And that's going to help you to lose fat and keep it or build muscle. Like the the point is is that as long as you have that in place and then you adjust your calories accordingly, you can do whatever you want in the gym. As long as you have that in place and you and you up your calories, you're going to gain muscle because it's like, oh, you're ready to go. And then all of a sudden, because of the extra calories, you're able to train harder and lift more weight and get stronger and get bigger. Right. But then if you're cutting, if you still keep on doing that training to failure, going hard, 
it's going to allow you to maximize the muscle that you keep while you're cutting. Because when you cut, it's very easy to lose muscle mass along with the fat. And so your training should not differ no matter what you're doing. Your training should always look the same. You need to go hard. You need to go to failure. And the numbers might look different, but the intent and how you do it should not look different. And something else, if you are just starting out in the gym, that I would recommend that you have in place as a pillar is going to be tracking your progress, okay? Because a lot of people, they don't track their progress and they regret it. However many months, years down the road, if you can look back and actually see how much progress you made, it's really inspiring, it's really motivating. And not to mention, you're tracking your progress and so you're actually able to see if you're getting stronger and you're getting bigger and you're getting better in the gym. Okay, I don't actually have my notebook with me. It's in my gym bag, but this this is close enough as an example. Just get yourself a notebook, okay? And then track your progress every single day. And so if you go in and and you bench and you get however much weight for how, however many reps, just write that down, okay? Just write down at every set on your main lifts, okay? And so if you're if, if it's back day and you're doing deadlifts and, and barbell rows as, as your compound lifts, write those down. Say I got 315 for five. And then on the second set, I got 315 for four. And then I got 315 for three. And then, and then on rows, I got 135 for five. Or I got 145 for 12. And just write them down. And so you'll have those sets for every day and put the date down as well and specify which lift it is and the sets and reps you got for it and you are not going to regret it because then you can look back that very next week or that very next session and say okay last week i did this for 12 i'm going to try to do it for 13 or or last week i did 135 for 12 so this week i'm going to try to do 140 for 12 and so do you see what i'm getting at in that you're slowly getting stronger and bigger and better in the gym but when you track your progress it's significant it's significantly easier to actually keep track of that and keep yourself on the straight and narrow path and like i mentioned at the beginning of the video i have a surprise for you guys right here okay and so if you want the exact copy paste system that i used to gain an insane amount of muscle and confidence that you can use to gain an insane amount of muscle and confidence in just 12 weeks with everything that i learned in the past three years in gaining 40 pounds Go down below and click the first link to watch a free video training. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And I'm showing you guys the exact copy paste system that I used. That is seriously going to be a game changer. It's going to help you gain an insane amount of muscle and confidence in just 12 weeks without all the BS and misinformation that floats around the fitness industry. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Always remember to get her done.